Okay, hello everyone. We will see here how to use the BAME plugin with AutoCAD Revit. Uh, once you have installed the AutoCAD Revit application as well as the Hanwha plugin for AutoCAD Revit, um, once you open it up, pull up your drawings, then you can select the correct level that uh, where the camera should be placed. Click on that. After that, click on the Hanwha plugin. Select the camera. It will ask you to log in for the first time. You can create a free username and password at BIMSmith. And then you can download the BIM files. It's free to download. And uh, I'm looking for, let's say, let's say I need a DOOM camera. Select it. So it will download the plugin and then it will ask me for the metric or imperial dimensions. I will select metric because I'm based in the Middle East where we use metric uh, for the uh, dimensions. For metric, then here we have face or non hosted. So, what is uh, face based or hosted or attached option uh, this if you're into the beam field you would probably already know it simply the object can be uh, uh, placed on the surface so if you move the surface by any reason it will be the column the object also moves along with it or you could have it independent not hosted or not attached in this case there are two separate objects on the drawing okay so here i will go for um, the hosted which is the recommended option by most engineers and then I have the option here to select the type of mount with the camera here I'm going to place it on the wall in this case I would go with uh, I'll go with the wall mount let's see handy mount so wall mount okay I'll go with the wall mount select that So currently I'm using 2022. So we'll proceed. We'll see. Okay, no need. Okay, my beam file is loading. Okay, so now once the camera is loaded, I can move my camera to the wall. Let me go it here and uh, Here we go. Okay. Done. Okay. I have mounted the camera. Then you can click escape. So you don't need to put multiple cameras. Then click. You can press space button if you want to change the direction. I'm going to use the traditional direction looking at this uh, room. Okay. All right, so then next step is to go back to the Hanwha plugin. You have the option further to know where the camera is looking at and what is its elevation from the floor. I'm going to keep it uh, 1.5 meters or let's keep it at uh, 2 meters from the ceiling. Let's see, it also depends on the drawing whether the wall is at least two meters high. Okay, let's just keep it at one thousand. Okay, done. After this, uh, you can click on the field of view. So right now the camera is looking at the scene. This is a glass, uh, so you can even see outside, and this is the exact view. <clears throat> Maybe you want to move the camera towards the left. You can do that. So you can move it slightly a bit, right? So and focus on the uh, inside. Then after that, you can zoom in if you like, or you can zoom out to get the maximum view. Okay. Right, then tilt, 
looks okay I don't have to change then uh, click apply so this is the camera view after that you can also click here it will open the uh, door kitchen open up a separate window showing the uh, right it will show in wireframe I need to go back camera view I would prefer it shaded medium okay yeah so this is the view from the camera which you can print separately as a proof of what the camera is going to cover then you also have the option uh, right now the shade is over uh, this area you can click on FOV block which means well, what the camera can actually see it will only show that area is the FOV block the rest will be behind the columns you cannot see right so it is blocked so that will be taken off after that you can see the different shades identification detection recognition so it follows that pattern as well all right then uh, with accessories you, if you like you can change you can switch on and off the FOV it's up to you and any other help tutorial videos are available extensively on separate links which you can refer as per your convenience